Hey everyone, this is Kieran from Eucentric Physio. Today's exercise is looking at how to start developing our lats. Um, it's an area of our body that not necessarily gets commonly injured, but I would say maybe more commonly underused. And that's just because of maybe the, the way that someone pulls in terms of their positioning, um, or maybe they just don't pull heavy enough weights and so the, the muscle is just a bit underdeveloped. Um, but the idea being that it's a muscle that helps you pull from up here down to here, or even a little bit back this way, although its angle of pull isn't as advantageous this way. So where it's useful is if you're a person that's maybe lost the ability to get your arm overhead, then this can be a nice exercise to start reintroducing that in, a, in sort of a, uh, an assisted way. Um, and it's also just useful for those looking to start developing pulling strength and progress towards pull-ups. So with our lats, they are an extensor, an internal rotator, and an adductor. And what that means is that extension is this way, internal rotation is my thumb curling in like this so that humerus spins inwards, and the adduction is the arm coming closer to my side here. So if we were to do all three of those, it's kind of like this movement. So I've got adduction going on, I've got extension, but I also have an internal rotation, which is a different thing to my hand spinning out this way. So when I'm considering pulling, I might try to use one arm at a time and see if there's a different side to side, particularly if you've got symptoms on one shoulder, as opposed to working to like a two-handed lat pull down. This is more useful as a one-handed to start with. You want the anchor to be above your shoulder to some degree. Um, it doesn't have to be hugely above, but just to start with, start there. And then if you've got symptomless, like you've got any issues going up here, then you can definitely start anchoring it well above. Now you could sit, you could kneel. If you've got a really high anchor, you could be standing and pulling, or you could do a bit of kind of this bent over position. But the idea is, is that I want to get the internal rotation, the adduction, keeping close to my side and the extension. So if I'm here, and I'm pulling down, I'm going to bring the elbow behind my body, that's the extension. I'm gonna keep it close to my side, so I'm rubbing my shirt with the inside of my arm, that's the adduction. And then the internal rotation is I'm gonna let that elbow go out a little bit. So in terms of the angle here, I'm gonna let that elbow do that just a little bit. So I'm gonna be a little bit off center. If I'm facing you guys, the weight's a little bit over here instead of being straight in front of me. So I'm here and internal rotation and pull. Okay, and you're gonna feel these muscles in here do a little bit of work. Where this is useful for developing overhead range is by starting in this position and then letting the weight pull your arm up and trying to slow that down. And you might be like, okay, that's as far as I can go before I get discomfort at my shoulder. And so you just come back and work a partial range, all right? Here, and over time, you'll be able to extend further and further. And when you need to finish, because we can't get that full sort of flexion of the arm up here, I'm gonna take the weight with my other hand and then walk it back up, okay? So from an angle from here, so you can see sort of that offset pull. If I was a bit here, you can see the weight's just a bit off to my side and I'm still trying to pull my hand towards my tummy. So I'm pulling down and I'm letting that wrist hit my ribs a little bit and extending, trying to keep as close as I can here, but because the hand is coming in, that elbow is now outside and so I'm getting that internal rotation. It's not to say that you can't do a row and stay straight, but if you want to bias all the fibers of the lat, you would get that internal rotation. Now the opposite of, well not pure opposite, but the um, puller in the external rotation is going to be more your rhomboids. I've got a video for that if that interests you. That's a bit more out here in a pull. And it's good to have capacity in both because you're going to be moving your arm in all planes. So, really good exercise to start developing some lat awareness, some overhead flexibility, getting that back. Or if you want to develop pull-ups, 
this is a great exercise to start building up that muscle specifically as like a isolated exercise and then building it into that compound movement of a pull-up and that requires other muscles like your biceps and, and your spinal erectors and a few other guys as well. Um, so if you have any questions with this, please leave a comment. Otherwise, um, start up at a moderate weight and slowly work your way up to heavier and heavier stuff, feeling like there's a bit of effort going on. If it's too easy, then you're really not going to get that stimulus for change. So it has to feel effortful, but not to failure. Don't let yourself go to failure. It's not necessarily a good, uh, it's not a good experience necessarily in this case for learning potential better that you have a, a successful experience. And that's a little bit different to learning from errors. This is more about building strength. So different relationship. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here and to check out our latest video, click up here.